steps of growth and development these are the distinct phases of growth and development cell division it is an important feature of living organisms through which multicellular organisms grow in size the number of cells increases due to mitotic division cell elongation and enlargement cell division is followed by cell elongation and enlargement this is due to absorption of water that causes the stretching of cell wall material cell maturation and differentiation this is the last phase of growth which involves deposition of secondary walls and develops into permanent tissue through this process cells become specialized into specific tissues after maturation and differentiation these cells remain unchanged cell death after differentiation each cell performs its own function and there is no further change but in due course of time these cells cease their activity and in place of these new cells originate life cycle of a butterfly to understand the process of growth and development the example of a butterfly has been described a complete or marked change as it develops into an adult is called metamorphosis for example the change from caterpillar to butterfly stage 1 at this stage the butterfly meet stage 2 the female lays her eggs on or near the plants that will later become caterpillar food stage 3 the caterpillars feed on the plant until they can get no bigger stage 4 they shed their skins and emerge as a pupa they may remain in this form throughout the winter stage 5 the body of the pupa will break down during this amazing transformation and reform itself into a beautiful butterfly has to break out of its shell stage 6 the wings are soft and crumpled at first so the butterfly pumps blood into the wings to make them strong the butterfly flies away to start the whole process again The life cycle of a butterfly has different stages of development which are 1 laying of eggs 2 the egg hatches into worm like stage called larva 3 the larva increases in size to form pupa or chrysalis 4 finally pupa matures into an adult butterfly physical changes in humans adolescence and adulthood everyone knows that a baby is born from the mother gradually it grows develops and matures the adolescence is the stage of maturation between childhood and adulthood the term denotes the period from the beginning of puberty to maturity it usually starts at about age of 12 in males and age of 11 in females During adolescence the pituitary gland secretes hormones in both sexes that activate the sex organs During this time male and female genital organs produce male and female hormones The male hormone is called testosterone and female hormone is called estrogen and progesterone These hormones bring about the following dramatic changes in the boys and girls boys 1 voice becomes deep 2 growth of hair start in different parts of the body especially face legs and in pubic areas 3 production of semen starts girls 1 voice becomes loud with high pitch 2 breasts start developing and become larger 3 hips become broadened 4 development of hairs in the pubic area 5 menstruation starts monthly release of eggs from ovary the physical and hormonal changes that occur at this time are responsible for the appearance of sexual drive boys and girls are attracted towards each other sexual urge is also increased due to hormonal changes sometimes children get confused at this stage several types of social and psychological problems arise in the minds of girls and boys therefore 
it is the responsibility of parents teachers and society to solve their problems activity it is very interesting to notice the changes in humans from birth to maturity stage in the early stages the changes are faster but in the adult stages the changes are slower observe these changes with the help of photographs from infant stage to maturity stage with certain intervals this can be done by your parents and grandparents notice the following changes changes in face changes in overall body changes in different organs changes in hairs family planning overpopulation is the biggest problem of india this has created several problems such as food shortage poor health poor shelter poor clothing insufficient health schemes and lack of educational facilities to the poor people if the population is controlled lot of problems will be solved automatically this can be done only through family planning this is the time when strong measures should be taken to control the size of an individual family the use of birth control methods to choose the number and timing of children born into a family is called family planning <laughs>